So about the workers. Sure till the time no. when the minus out plant will resume the production, do you have any plan to import the assembled vehicles from somewhere outside to keep the... There is no possibility of importing vehicles from anywhere. Not possible. Not possible. So about so the, what about the allegations made by the workers' union? Sorry? What about the allegations made by the workers' union? Like your inquiry, will it also look into that? Because if they are saying that a supervisor made certain comments which triggered off the whole thing, so the inquiry, will that also... As I said, there was charges from both sides. So both are the charges. The fact is, so the, nobody is denying the supervisor was manhandled. What manhandled? They are saying that the supervisor made some comments he made, and in response that, the worker was suspended, not the... Supervisor, right? That's the, the worker was suspended because he has alleged to have manhandled the supervisor, possibly, according to him, in retaliation to those remarks. As I said, Mr. Siddiqui has been talking to the president. It was said that we'll keep the suspension under suspension, get into the facts of the matter, and then take action. You can't. You're assuming that that's also an allegation. You cannot know if two people make contradictory statements. You so have to get into the facts. Also, to know sorry. What. Also, uh, they are also saying that workers have also been hospitalized with serious injuries. That's what the statement says. The no, workers' union statement. No worker is hospitalized to our knowledge. Not How do we know that? Both like it's a statement, right? This is an official statement released by the workers in India. Please tell us which hospital, which worker is hospitalized. Uh, Mr. Bhagav, on your, on your left here. Uh, sir, just want to understand the context of this press conference. I mean, I'm, I'm, I get to see a lot of clarification, what all you did after October last year and all. But I just, I'm just wondering why even these things uh, shared with the media. Because when we tried to approach, we tried to do a review of what happened last year and how better the situations are inside the plant. But uh, the company never responded to our questions. I don't know, but this press conference today we did because there have been a lot of inquiries over the last three days about what happened, what went wrong, when will production start, what will happen. We thought that on this one occasion we would clarify matters so that we don't have these uh, separate and individual inquiries happening all the time. Um, Mr. Mr. Uh, sir, ek, um, just sir a you said that uh, you said that Sir, this side, in front of you. Ah. Okay. Sir, you said that some uh, reports came in which there were questions on management kiye gaye hai. and then whatever uh, happened management and workers in which there were more people who are hospitalized are not 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 hospitalized so do you think that anything was pre-planned? Please, is this the answer? I can't in an inquiry before I have no conclusion I have no नहीं देना चाहूँगा। ये conclusion कि pre-planned था, नहीं था, ये तो inquiry ही साबित कर पाए। Excuse me, yes, you've likened the the attack to this, I mean the the riot to the tsunami in Japan, and you said that no one can could have foreseen what has happened, but as we all know, there has been a series of strikes last year, so labour management, as I understand it, is not seen as a act of nature, so. And there are other companies that are also operating in India with similar labor pools. So, has there been an examination of your, uh, you know, human resource practices or your management practices? Why is it that, you know, investors should accept this, that this is a completely unforeseen event when it's not? I, the first thing I started off was detailing what has happened in the last one year. Telling you about the causes of the last strike, what the demands were. Explaining to you that not one of those demands remains outstanding. That today there is no outstanding demand from the workers except the wage negotiations which are continuing. When you have no simmering discontent, no issues, negotiations are continuing, how would you anticipate this kind of event? Many companies, yes, have strikes, have labor issues. How many companies have this kind of rioting leading to the death of a senior manager through being burnt alive?